Hi guys, today I'm going to be servicing my transmission neutral safety switch. So I've been having sometimes when I try to start the car, um, it doesn't start in park. I'll, I'll need to pull it out of park and then put it into neutral for it to start. So typically that's one of the signs of a defective or the, that the contacts are probably, um, there's no good contact. So I'm trying to do the, the cheapest thing first. So what I plan to do is to take the switch apart, give it a good clean and then fit it back together. If I continue to have symptoms, then I know it's the transmission range switch that is bad. So gear is already in neutral, handbrake raised, block the wheels. I've already done all of this. You jack up the vehicle, support stands in place then you you get to the business of the day which I've actually done quite a bit before I decided to do this video so f the first thing you're going to do you take out the tire uh, that's the boring part so not shown take out the driver's tire by the way this is on a um, seventh generation Honda Accord and some depending on your model of Accord it might be on on the passenger side or on the driver's side so that, that depends but it's pretty similar across Hondas and a lot of other cars as well so first thing is to take up this is the cover to the transmission ring switch I've already loosened these bolts so take notes this is short uh, I think all of these are the same size right uh, okay no so the rear the rear bolt is long right as you can see compared to the first so take note of that and the lower bolt which is here is the same size with the one in front so I take that off I've already loosened these things so and the cover comes off now I've already taken out the connector right so the connector fits here I already took that off so this is held by two bolts this and that I've already loosened them um, the top one they are the same length same size so nothing to worry about take out the the bottom right and keep them aside and this should be free to come out so just pull it straight out now if i zoom in on on that so once you do this you shouldn't move your your gear anymore your stick you shouldn't move that so turning to the switch itself it's held by one two three four five bolts i've taken out one two three you just lift this up there's a rubber o-ring so i'm going to clean all of this I'm using contact cleaner so don't use cab cleaner or any of those sort of things it, it could damage the electrical components if I rub my hand here it's already I just move this it's already smeared which shouldn't be so there's there, usually this would have some form of silicone grease the type you can use with electric con on the electric contact so and i have i have this one which i typically use i wouldn't advise your regular petroleum grease for this so i'll just clean this out just blast away we'll use the you know the the um the slot to realign this right and we're putting it back to the vehicle so you don't need to bother about this that much and just move it so that's clean now you can also use a paper towel to wipe it down after that some grease I'm going to put an awful lot and it's majorly on these metal contacts so just dab some grease there you are good and 
put some along these lines as well. Grease on this o ring, yeah, so that's it. And um, I'll just have some grease on, on this part to seal out to help seal out moisture too. So make sure the o-ring is well in place, it is. This goes back. Nice seal. Screws go back. Try now screw in. So from here it's in reverse, ensure mm -hmm. that you don't move the position of this as I said before and just um, realign this, push it all the way back, but yeah, so that, that fits well and laps quite well. You, put, you have to put back the connector before you tighten it in right. so all these adjustments I'm doing if you look if you look because of the way it's constructed it's not really adjusting the position of you know the slot or that this this metal shaft here so right so what I'll do now is to go into the vehicle give it a start make sure that all the indicators are reflecting the correct position gear positions so here in the vehicle right so that's that correctly indicated the neutral the fact that the gear is in neutral or the stick is in neutral transmission is in neutral i go to reverse it goes to reverse park is in park so drive d3 it's in d3 right so everything is as should be so, and that's how you do it the rest of the procedure is in reverse thank you very much do like and subscribe to the channel cheers